Welcome into HouseOfSparky.com. I'm Bailey O'Carroll, joined as always by Kaylin Jones, co-editor and ASU football expert. Kaylin, ASU on the road this week. They're at Washington. They're going to try to snap that four-game losing streak. Do you think it's going to take a minor miracle for the Sun Devil team to come out on top? Well, I mean, you, you nailed it. It's going to take a bit of a miracle for this ASU team to go on the road and beat a motivated Washington team hoping to keep its college playoff hopes alive. Obviously, uh, Washington last week suffering that brutal loss against USC. I, I think they're going to want not only to revenge that game or their loss from last week, but they're going to want to get revenge for their loss a season ago where they were up 17 to nothing in Sun Devil Stadium before ASU went on a 27-0 run to end up winning that game. So I think you got two factors playing there and not to mention the fact that Washington is just the more talented team on paper and physically over all. We've seen what's happened this year. Uh, Washington, what they're able to do well is pass the ball deep and run the ball, run the ball well. Uh, ASU, they haven't been able to defend either, so we'll see whether or not uh, they, they can go down into Washington, but I, I don't expect them to be able to. And then on the offensive end for the Sun Devils, Manny Wilkins is back indefinitely. Do you think his presence is going to have a big impact on the outcome of this game? I think it does. When you look at what Manny Wilkins brings to this offense, it, it opens up a running game. And in that sense, it, and specifically the RPO, uh, what they're able to do with the run pass option, I think it'll open things up for re players like Cam Balaj and Damara Richard if he's healthy. Uh, players on the outside like Tim White, Nikhil Harry, I think they'll be able to benefit from another week of Manny Wilkins being at practice. And that's something that Todd Graham harped on, especially after the game against Utah. The fact that he hasn't been able to practice so consistently this season has really hurt him and his growth as a quarterback. So I think if you include him, uh, you get a full week of him practicing. Uh, going into this Washington game, I think things will be a little bit different. He'll look more, or at least the offense should function more similarly to it, how it did against Cal in comparison to how it did last week. And then uh, Washington, obviously very talented all-around team, but their rush defense is amazing. And ASU has kind of relied on their run game to get them through offensively this season. How do you think that's going to play out on Saturday? Well, it comes down to who can win at the line of scrimmage. You nailed it. Washington has done a great job at stifling the run this season on their way to being the top defense in the entire conference. So if they're able to really dominate the line of scrimmage, I don't know whether or not ASU can you know, come out with the victory. Last week against USC, you could tell that Washington did miss the presence of Joe Mathis and linebacker Zine Victor. Those are two you know, potential first round picks on that Washington defense who are going to be out for this game. So I guess you look at the bright side, I guess ASU will be able to play against a depleted Washington defense, but at the same time, you still have guys in the second area like Kevin King, uh, Buda Baker, and Sidney Jones who, you know, pose a presence out there on the back end. And then in the front seven, you have Elijah Qualls, other players as well who are pretty good. As well. So looking at this young ASU offense line, it's still a tall order to ask them to play well against this team. And then can we get a score? What do you think? I, we made it kind of obvious who we thought was kind of going to come out on top, but what do you think a score is going to be? Oh, man. I, you Washington dropped 70 on Oregon. I think it could be similar this week. I, I'll say 55 to 42 Washington. All right, there you have it. Be sure to tune back into HouseOfSparky.com on Saturday for all of your game day coverage. For Kaylin Jones, I'm Bailey O'Carroll. Thanks for watching.